Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here, and today I want to talk about Game Builder Garage that was just announced pretty much just right now. As I was watching this, the main thing on my mind was, okay, but can you share these? Can you share these? I'll get into what the game is and everything, but whenever these things come out, it's always like, okay, but can we share these things and experience other people's creations and stuff like that? So I went onto the website and we can. We can play other people's creations. So with that out of the way, because now I'm definitely going to buy the game, I'll probably just buy this just to play other people's creations. So with Game Builder Garage, it's essentially you being a programmer and you can make your own games. And at first watching this trailer, it looked kind of bare bones. And then towards the end, they started showing creations and it was looking pretty cool. And then further on, they showed even more. And that's when it was like, okay, people are going to make some crazy stuff. Something that's really interesting to me, though, is that they announced this before E3. I found that really surprising. And I mean, it makes sense because it comes out June 11th, but I'm surprised that they didn't just wait. It makes me wonder as to why they made this decision. And I'm on the website right now. The game is $30, so maybe that's why it wasn't at E3, because it's not a full price title. But I'm super happy that you can share your creations online, because especially it not being a $60 game and it being Nintendo, which... To be fair, Nintendo has been better with adding online play and just online features in general. I still get weary because I remember the past when they'd make all these games and there'd be no online features. The one that I'm still never going to let go is Star Fox Zero because I remember it was either in the direct or some trailer. They said, have fun beating your own scores. They honestly talked about a leaderboard without it having online. If the game is based around beating your own scores, I don't get why it wouldn't go online. But that's the past and they've definitely gotten better with it in my opinion. So for this game, though, I wouldn't have been shocked if it didn't have it, and it does. So I'm super pumped about that. And I hope that they advertise that more. It was not in that trailer from what I saw. And this is where I feel like Nintendo always has a misstep when they try to showcase their games, because I'm sure there's people out there like me who want to play other people's creations, but I myself, I don't really think I'm going to do too much creating myself. With Mario Maker, I made more levels than I think I expected to, and it was fun, but I still enjoy playing other people's levels a lot more. And with this, it's going to be that even further, because if I make anything, it'd probably just be one game. But I feel like some people are going to go all out and just make this big, robust thing, depending on how far you can go with it. But from the footage that we saw, I was impressed, because... It looked really bare bones at the start, and then it looked a little better, and then it was like, whoa, you can do that? So I'm wondering how the creation tools will work, because one thing that really surprised me was that bulldozer. I don't know how you can just make a bulldozer, but seeing what they did, whenever there's a creation tool and the base is already cool, you know people are going to make some really, really cool stuff and really push this game. And in terms of the presentation of the game, I think it looks good. I think it feels very Nintendo, and it seems simple enough that I think anyone could really dive into it. So overall, I'm just excited. If you could not share games online, though, I would not be buying it, because I don't plan on really making much. Like I said, I'll probably make one thing, and even then, it's probably going to be <laughs> not the best. But I'm more interested in trying out other people's creations. So I'm really glad the feature's there, and I wanted to make that kind of a big highlight of this video so that's why it's in the title because i want people to know yes you can share games online so that's all i really have to say about this let me know in the comment section down below and if you're going to get this game or not if you enjoyed this and want to support my content feel free to subscribe and until next time i'll see y'all later take care everyone